This is a video on bar charts, fractions, decimals, and percents. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at bar charts and figuring out how to read them. And then we're going to take the frequencies that are given in bar charts and convert them to fractions. We'll take the frequencies and convert them to decimals. And finally, we'll take the frequencies and convert them to percents. So let's look at the question. We have a bar chart here which represents the grades in a class and we can see there are A's, B's, C's, D's, and F's. And there are three questions. The first is find the fraction of students who received a C grade. The second is find the proportion of grades C or better. Write your answer as a decimal number rounded to the nearest hundredth. And then finally, what percent of the students received an A grade? Round your answer to the nearest whole number percent. So let's first look at the part A. Find the fraction of students who received a C grade. So we have this bar chart, and we want to look at the fraction who received a C. So we need to look at the Cs, and we need to make a fraction of the total. So if we look at the Cs, we see up on that bar that goes up to the number 15. So there were 15 C grades. Now we've got to find the total. To find the total, we need to add all the As, the Bs, the Cs, the Ds, and the Fs. And we can see that there were 10 A's, 15 B's, 15 C's, 5 D's, and 10 F's. If I add 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 5 plus 10, I get 55. So now we need to turn this into a fraction, which is actually quite easy because when you make a fraction, we just take the part over the total. So the fraction will be 15, because that's the number of C grades, divided by the total, 55. I reduced it because it's the right thing to do. And we can see that 5 is a factor of 15, and 5 is also a factor of 55. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 55 divided by 5 is 11, and we get 3 elevenths. So a reduced fraction is kind of cleaner, it doesn't tell the story as well because we can see that 15 over 55 shows that out of the 55 students, 15 of them received a C. Okay, now let's look at the next question. The next one is, find the proportion of grades C or better. Write your answer as a decimal number rounded to the nearest hundredth. So same idea, we need to start out with a fraction. And C or better are the A's, B's, and C's. So we can count the A's, B's, and C's. There were 10 A's, 15 B's, and 15 C's. 10 plus 15 plus 15 is 40. And we saw before the total was 55. So now the fraction will be 40 over 55. We want to write this as a decimal. There's no need to reduce a fraction. We're just going to divide. And I do this in my calculator. And I got 0 0.72727. And it goes on forever, actually. But we don't want to go on forever. We want to round to the nearest hundredth. So the hundredth place is right here, this first two. And we notice that to the right of that two is a seven. 7 is at least as large as 5, so that means we round the 2 up. And then the final answer for this part is 0 0.73 is a decimal number for the proportion of grade C or better. Now let's look at the final question. So the final question was what percent of the students received an A grade? Round your answer to the nearest whole number percent. So we start out with a fraction, just like we've done before. We look at the A's. We see there were 10 A's. 
And then we remind ourselves that the total was 55, same as the other two. The graph hasn't changed, so it will be the same total. So the fraction of a's over the total is just 10 over 55. To write it as a percent, we first convert it to a decimal. And I used my calculator. I took 10 divided by 55, and I got 0 0.1818. Okay, it keeps going on and on. Now, I don't want a decimal. I want a percent. So if you remember, to get a percent, we take this decimal place, and we move it over two places to the right. That's the same as multiplying by 100%. And when I do that, the percent that I get was 18.18%. But the instructions say we're supposed to round your answer to the nearest whole number percent. So the whole number percent, we notice that the whole number digit is an 8. And to the right of the 8 is a 1. 1 is less than 5. So that means we leave the 8 alone and we round down. And our final answer is we can say that 18% of all students received an A grade. And I'm done with the problem. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you've learned about how to look at bar charts and figure out fractions, decimals, and percents. Thank you.